Guys, you have to see the coolest thing I saw this week. This is my pet spiny ant colony. We here on the channel call the Blades of Midas due to their amazing spiny bodies and shiny golden gasters. Now these ants are pretty epic as we've been watching them build an entire fortress into this driftwood using moss collected from their environment. This forest terrarium kingdom home we designed for them named Polyraxia. But as for the cool thing I saw, it was a construction add-on to the colony's main moss ball nest in the wood, a basement. You guys will truly be mind blown at these brilliant ant architects. Welcome everyone to the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC family. Enjoy. So aside from taking a look at the basement our ants constructed, I also have some pretty amazing news for you all. Two things actually. I've been waiting patiently for the longest time to share these two pieces of news with you. And I'll be making the announcement towards the end of the video. So do stay tuned for all that coming up. Trust me, it's awesome. But first, let's enter Polyraxia. The ants are busy as usual, going about their various activities. There were ants carrying the dead to the grave, like this ant here. If you're new to the ant lifestyle, you may be surprised that they are in many ways exactly like humans. Like most other ant species, the blades of Midas need to be as clean and sanitary as possible. So to keep their living quarters mold and disease free, and just to make sure dead bodies aren't just laying around decaying everywhere. After a long trek up some ferns, across some great rocks, a driftwood bridge, and a dirt path, the body is finally dumped here into the community graveyard. Near the nest, some members of the Blades of Midas are acting as guards. Look at how they assume a threatening stance, ever ready to shoot formic acid at any predator. Now you want to see something cool but also funny AC family? Check this out. This ant appears to be asleep, but it's kind of wobbling. Now I've seen this behavior in almost every ant I've ever kept. First off, this answers some of you who may be wondering if ants sleep. Yes, they do, but generally in short two minute naps. But during these naps, I often see the ants wobbling their legs, as you see here. My guess is the ants are dreaming and what you're seeing here is the ant sleep moving. You know, exactly how dogs and some people do in their sleep. If it is dreaming, I wonder what this ant could possibly be dreaming about. Hope it's a happy dream about finding some sweet sugary food. Sleep well, ant. But let's head over to the moss nest now. So if you're new or just joining us, over the past several weeks, these spiny ants have been constructing this amazing structure. It's a moss nest made from pieces of sphagnum moss collected from various areas of their terrarium. It's truly incredible. The moss is all stuck together using silk from the ants larvae. Spiny ants belong to the genus Polybrachus, who besides having cool spines, also create nests above ground and in trees using debris from their environment again all stuck together using larval silk. The Blades of Midas' nest is actually quite a brilliant home because it's perfectly camouflaged and easy for an enemy or intruder to miss. Now in a previous video, when I inadvertently ripped a whole long hole into their moss nest, when I lifted a test tube, the ants came pouring out when I dropped a few droplets of water onto the nest. I think the sudden appearance of water inside the nest caused the ants to swarm. But AC family, I wanted to show you what happens when I water their moss nest today. Now that all large holes are sealed up, it's time for a Polyraxian rainstorm. Cue the thunder and watch what happens when rain hits the nest.
Did you notice? No ants emerging from the nest. It's like they didn't care. You may have also noticed that most of the water actually ran off the nest, like water off a duck's back. This is because the moss nest is in fact water repellent. The larval silk used to glue all the moss pieces together is waterproof. Pretty amazing evolutionary adaptation, right? The ants simply cleaned themselves of the droplets that stuck onto their bodies and even drank from the wet moss. Now in last week's video, one of you had a great question, and it was this. Can the ants create a living moss nest? As in a nest where the moss remains alive? This moss here is dried sphagnum moss, so it's dead. But I'm sure it is possible for the ants to incorporate living building materials that remain alive once incorporated into their nest structure. Perhaps lichens? That would certainly be interesting to explore in the future. But speaking of incorporating unique building materials, it's time to show you what the title of this video reads. And it's the ant's basement. Have a look. Just below the upper moss nest is a new lower nest that they've recently built. Check it out. So as you can see, this new lower portion added onto their nest is not made of moss, but rather rice husk. They collected it from the surface of the ground. Back when I first constructed this terrarium, some of you may remember I purposely added a ton of ordinary rice husk as well as carbonized rice husk, both of which are common soil conditioners for plants. I added rice husk mainly because my hopes were they would be using it as a building material. Well, it seems the ants decided to use the moss first to build their main nest. Then the abundance of rice husk that existed all around the lands to build their basement. Pretty cool, right? What amazed me is that the ants truly took the time to collect and glue each husk together to form this basement portion, like bricks to a house. I can only imagine what the tunnels and chambers look like inside. Any ideas, guys, how we can somehow film or peek inside without disturbing the ants too much? I'm open to suggestions. Anyway, this ant basement was constructed just this week. Or at least I only discovered it this week. There's a tiny chance it may have been there over a week ago, but I believe I would have noticed it sooner if that was the case. Seeing this basement add-on was actually quite heartwarming to me because it meant our Blades of Midas, our beloved spiny ant colony, was actually growing. Yay! These ants have been an ultimate dream of mine to keep, and I look forward to watching this moss and now rice nest expand more and more and more. I wonder where they'll choose to build their next add-on. I also wonder if I could get the ants to use other cool materials to build. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions. Non-toxic materials only. All right, now at the start of the video, I mentioned that I have some amazing news to share. Two pieces of news, in fact. Now the first awesome thing I wanted to share is that I know most of you know me as the ant nerd voice who narrates the real life stories of the ants on this channel. But I'm happy to announce that I'm actually having a meet and greet. Yes, a real life meet and greet and appearance in Orlando, Florida this August at the first ever Animal Con 2022. It's this super cool event just full of all your favorite animal YouTube creators all in one place. So guys, mark your calendars and visit the Animal Con website for tickets. I can't wait to meet you in person and hear all about your awesome ant stories and colonies. I'll also be selling ant farms in case you guys want to take the opportunity to save on shipping. I'll also be participating in a Q&A. See you guys there! Now the second piece of news is pretty epic. So over the past four years, some of you may know that while working on bringing you guys these ant videos every week, I've been busy behind the scenes working on my biggest project of all, the AC Ant House, a home I'm building in the middle of an almost half hectare plot of land, which will become our new home base 
where all the videos on this channel will be filmed from now on. If you're just hearing about this now, feel free to watch this video here, on the new ant house and ant room, where all of our ant colonies will be housed. Well, the great news is, after years of delays, challenges, a contractor change, and the pandemic, we're finally moving into the ant house next month! Yay! I cannot even describe to you guys how much of a relief it is and how it's going to be such an exciting new chapter for us. Because now, I will have a legit place to grow my ant colony collection and terrariums of creepy crawlies that we all love to learn about and watch. An area almost 19 times larger than my current ant room. You can expect new ant colonies, moving in of our old ones, and an entire forest in our yard just full of some of the most exotic ants you've ever seen, including ant species that we may have discovered, and ones we've already made scientific discoveries about. Now though I'll be moving in next month, I won't be able to create a video right away on the new Ant Room 2.0 until it's finally completed, which may take a few more weeks. But at least now we can say we're coming to the end of this long four-year road and starting a brand new journey together living in the lush and biodiverse land of Antopia. So guys, if you haven't yet, do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss a single episode and join our ever-growing and awesome AC family. We're a cool community here, and I'm grateful every day for all of your support. So until the next episode, thank you all for watching and supporting the ants. It's Ant Love forever.